Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to take a look at this new little Heli UAV from Esheen. As you can see on the side here is the Esheen E110. Now, if this looks sort of familiar to you, this is supposed to look, of course, like the sort of famed military UAV called the Black Hornet. The little UAV reconnaissance drone, I think they call it, is this more technical name. And of course, it's supposed to look like that. And it's actually just a helicopter that the military uses. Of course, way more expensive. This is just a toy, so it doesn't have the same kind of features as that little uh, UAV that the militaries around the world use. But it's supposed to have that look. Now, it's about 75 grams, so it's well under any kind of, of uh, regulation of 250 grams here in the United States. So it doesn't require any kind of FAA registration on it. It has a 720p camera on the front, so that's this HD camera, and you can tilt that, uh, but you have to do it manually. So that's what you got to do, and it just records over your Wi-Fi signal back to the app. The app is called the Sentry app, and then you, uh, I'll put a screenshot of that app up here. And then, of course, you mount your uh, phone on the phone clip holder, and then you can watch as you fly around FPV on this guy and it is fly barless that's probably the most interesting aspect of this little heli is it doesn't have that fly bar for balance it, the rotors will actually tilt with the pitch of the uh, helicopter to be able to uh, fly better and that's really really cool and there's your little wi-fi antenna sticking out the back of this little uav and um the battery on this is a 1s they give you two of these i actually left the other battery inside so I'll take this one off so we can show you. You're not going to be able to see this in the video and the head cam, I don't think. But it's a 1S, 500 mil, uh, 580 milliamp hour uh, little LiPo battery in this modular style. And like I said, mine came with two of them. I have them both charged, but I left the other one on inside on the charger. And it does charge just through a micro USB cable. You can use any cable that you want. You don't have to use any special cable because the battery itself lights up here and it actually has the uh, if i hold it down it should light up these four little blue lights is your battery meter and those actually let you know whenever it's done charging so um, you don't have to worry about any kind of special cable once all four lights are lit up you know that we're fully charged on this guy so you just kind of get it in here and line it up and then get it in and to kind of get it just right in here and get the battery back in here. I'm just it's kind of sort of the angle I'm doing it here. There we go. Get it more level and then put the battery back on. So pretty cool little guy. They give you some spare, they give you uh, some spare rotors here. It looks like they give you um, uh, two of them. So if you break either one, you can replace those. They also give you uh, a rear, their little rear rotor. This used for your yaw, you know, that lets the, moves the helicopter uh, right and left the yaw. And they give you a little Phillips screwdriver. And they do give you a little micro USB charging cable. It's just a generic one, but it's what you would use to charge it if you don't have one. And then they give you a phone clip holder, which I haven't attached yet. That will uh, attach to the controller, which I'll show you in just a moment. It lets you hold your phone so you can see. Now, Wi Fi. Um, first person view like that it's going to be a bit laggy some are better than others but you know flying something sporty around like this which just ought to be pretty sporty it's going to be a little behind your reality so keep that in mind that flying by fpv may not be very realistic that may be more just for recording the video feed if you want to actually capture video because uh, cameras on helicopters are sort of a newer thing i've reviewed one other one before so it's sort of almost like, you know, sometimes you may think of this as a spy drone because that's sort of what it is to reconnaissance drone. It's all it's sort of spying on enemy troops is what um, is what they're getting at. So you could also call it a spy drone. And here is the controller. It's more like a drone, uh, a drone controller. As you can see, it's got altitude hold on it. So because it, it recenters, so the drone will hold its altitude and that's nice. And you've got your trims here for all the different yaw and pitch and all that stuff. And then you got uh, two speed rates. And I'll show you both of those. Actually, it looks like there's three, actually. I thought there was two. When I, was, I did a hover test in the basement. I just flipped this forward the other day, but I didn't even notice it actually has a center and a low. So we'll try that. 
you can see there's three bars so it means there's three speed rates it was very very stable um, of course inside there was no wind and i didn't have to trim it up at all and here's your auto takeoff and auto landing now there is absolutely zilch wind outside today i couldn't ask for a better day to fly anything and to show you guys what it's like to fly when there's no wind to affect it so unless a wind all of a sudden comes up it is actually absolutely perfect to fly this helicopter outside today so i think that covers everything we got we've included the app all the stuff you guys need to know so let me let me get the phone clip uh, attached to this and then get the drone fired up and connect it to the app and to the controller and then we'll get it up here and fly it around see how it flies and include some of that sample footage from the app so you guys can see what that 720p video looks like so uh hold tight guys and i'll be right back okay guys so i have the Ichini 110 Black Hornet uh, Heli bound up with the controller and the app. And as you can see now, it has four uh, blue LEDs in the top here to help with orientation and a red here on the rear rotor, which is pretty cool. I like the LEDs on this, along with the, the battery meter blue lights as well. Now you want to calibrate the gyro to level before you take off, at least especially the first time that you actually fly this. As you can see here, I've got it, at, it bound to the uh, app here. And you set this down on a level surface and the blue lights in the front here will flash when you do this but it also the controller will beep you want to go uh, both sticks down and to the left and we can hopefully see it flash but you can hear the controller beep so we are set to level we're in the lowest rate here so let's take it off here let's start recording some video first let's go ahead and take off now you're going to press the let's see if it takes off i can't remember if you have to unlock the props or not so let's press it yeah, it does take off on its own. Now there's really literally no breeze and it did go to the, to the left. So we might need to uh, trim that up a little bit. Look, it's going, let's give it some right now. We're not going near as much. So oddly enough, you know, I didn't calibrate the gyro when I was indoors. It was very stable though, but it is wanting to go to the, now there might be a slight breeze that I can't, yeah. Be like it's not moving much at all now so i think it just needs a little bit of trim that's pretty darn stable guys so that that is the lowest rate i'm going rear uh pitch forward you can see very little pitch in the lowest rate but that's going to give you the best video because you're not tilting the drone down as much you know it's a drone uav heli i may call it a drone a lot more and it actually is technically a drone i think they usually refer to as uav let's go to that middle rate now here are the two beeps now it's a lot sportier look at that way way sportier and that's just the middle rate now you're gonna be filming at the ground a lot and let's go to the highest rate this ought to be super sporty now I can feel a slight breeze. I'm flying into it now, so. But you couldn't ask for a more calm day otherwise. Really nice. These fly barless helis are a lot of fun. I had one other one I reviewed, uh, I don't know, within the last year. Of course, it wasn't this Black Hornet military style. So this is really, really nice. And look how stable that is. Now, if you have a decent amount of wind at 75 grams, this guy's going to struggle. Though with all that pitch, highest rate, you can do, you know, you can get by with a, a moderate wind, maybe at best. Now, the flight time on this guy is advertised at 15 minutes. I believe that's just for one battery. You have to be careful. Sometimes, and these Banggood products, they don't typically do it as much as on the Amazon, where they will give you the total flight time if you flew both batteries. <laughs> 15 sounds a little high, but not, not totally unrealistic given this is only 75 grams. But you know, the battery capacity is not really huge either. And a charge time is about an hour, depending on how much juice is in the battery. That would probably be for a completely drained at the low voltage cutoff. These are, these are gonna come to you with like three out of four lights lit up. So, uh, you know, at storage voltage are a little higher. And it's not going to take as long to charge it the very first time. Yeah, really nice. This is really nice. A lot of fun to fly this. These helis are fun. If you fly drones a lot, then you're used to orientation. 
So these helis are uh, not too hard to fly. They, they can be a little wanky, wonky, whatever you want to call it, whenever they're janky. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> whenever you're turning like that, you can see how it, not as smooth, it kind of did a nosedive there. And you can, you know, you can lose your orientation a little easier. Those lights really help. But yeah, you're gonna looking at the video here. You can see it looks pretty clear to me. The video's not bad, but it's really shaky because there's no stabilization. You know, they could use EIS on the app on the phone, but that takes a lot of power and causes the lag to be even worse in your feed while it's doing that in the background. And it usually doesn't do a very good job. You need an onboard EIS, and that's not gonna be something they're going to be able to offer for a drone of this cheap uh, price. Yeah, this is really cool. I really like this. And it's, it's pretty quiet. I mean, inside I thought it was a little bit noisy, but I was indoors. You know, outdoors you like this. It's a lot uh, quieter than a drone because a drone's got, you know, a quadcopter drone. It's got four rotors and this just has two, really one main rotor and a little one in the rear. So it's it's not turning as many props. It's certainly uh, quieter. But look how Look how stable that is. Look at that really stable helicopter let's try the uh you know a loud truck coming here but let's try a, a auto landing this let's see how it does it's actually a school bus yeah that did pretty good for an auto landing, not bad at all. Cause you wonder if that really small base, if it's gonna come down and fall over. Now, if they get a wind gust or something, you probably would. And that's when the props could eat dirt. And that's when you worry about damaging the props. But that did really good. Let's go ahead and, and take it off again. Actually, I think you can manually, let's try manually. I think it's both sticks down and out. We'll uh, unlock them and then you can just give it throttle if you don't wanna do an auto takeoff. So both sticks down and out and then give it throttle. And we should still be in the highest rate, of course. And the nice thing about on the controller is you don't have to worry about getting out of the rates. Whatever the switch is on the controller, it's going to be in that rate. So I sort of, sort of said that out of habit. Because a lot of times these, you have a button or something that can get reset. And this is actually a switch. So it is you, can, you know what rate you're in just by looking at your controller. Really sporty. You know, at that, at that distance there, it's getting to where the, the little LEDs are hard to see. Unless, it, you know, if you're flying this at late in the evening, it'd be easier to see them. They're not very big, but they look really cool. So yeah, it definitely looks like the little Black Hornet a UAV that the US military and many other around the world use for reconnaissance. Of course, that is gonna be brushless. Who knows how many ridiculous thousands of dollars those cost. They probably sure they have GPS. They can return to home and land and they have a, probably, you know, at least a 1080p camera and many, many kilometers or miles of range and all the high tech stuff you'd expect out of something like that. Well, this is a brushed motor and this is, you know, just a toy. But it really flies great and you know if you want something that looks like that uh, you're not just going to break the bank with this this is a really awesome option and you know it stayed the video feed stayed connected i've not had any app issues uh, this is definitely a winner you know just if you want a helicopter especially a fly barless one and don't want to you know don't want to have to spend the kind of money to go up to something brushless which one is hell is a brushless brush eh, it's not that you know Unless you want a ton of speed. I mean, it's not that big a deal. To me, it's not nearly as big a deal as brush to brushless on a quadcopter because you're not turning, you know, four big uh, rotors like on a drone. Yeah. Well, we could fly this down until it's dead, but I don't know what purpose that's going to do unless, you know, aside from, getting you, aside from getting you a flight time. It's starting to mist here. I don't want to get water on the... Uh, lens of the quadcopter it's been misting on and off throughout the day 
So my nut is just so stable. Look at that. And there is a breeze at my back. And it's almost like it's got position hole, which of course it doesn't even have an optical flow camera. The uh, the uh, Black Hornet has like three cameras. I know it. I think I read. I know it, I know it had you know a front camera and it had a, a downward camera, which is probably more for reconnaissance to look straight down. Let's go ahead and do that auto landing now again. Oh, that's perfect. This is a winner, guys. This is one of the best little helis I've ever flown. And then at that point, you want to make sure you stop recording the video because otherwise there's a good chance that video doesn't get saved. And there it finally stopped. So we had over eight minutes of video there, eight minutes and 46 seconds. So we know for sure that we had that much flight time and there was no flashing or any kind of low voltage warning yet. So that 15 minutes on the time that they tell you may very well be uh, true. All right, guys, I highly recommend this one. If you're interested in something cool like this that looks like the Black Hornet, or you just want a helicopter, especially a fly this one, I would check, to check this out. It's not expensive. I think it was in the $70 to $80 range. I'll put a purchase link down in the video description along with in the pinned comment. And if I have any coupons, I'll get one for it as well if I happen to have one. So if you do consider this, you're always helping out the channel. They are affiliate links. They do help me out. But they don't cost you a cent more, but it helps to keep this channel going because it isn't easy to do. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell. While you're at it. That way you're notified every time I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.